this surprise uh, perform. Although, oh, he's got another Wish Bus performance of Room, but on Wish Bus Korea. I didn't know South Korea had a Wish Bus. Oh, well, do I want to watch the Wish Bus USA performance, or do I want to watch the Wish Bus South Korea performance? I mean, I'm probably gonna watch both of them, but like right now, do I want to watch? <laughs> we'll do a quick poll. You guys can decide. A few moments later. Okay, South Korea. South Korea it is. All right. Sorry, Wish Bus USA. You've, you've been kicked to the curb. I'll come back and watch you later. All right, so we're going to look at Stell performing his debut um, solo single, Room, on Wish Bus South Korea. This is our first time watching anything Wish Bus South Korea because I was not aware that that existed. So we're going to dive in and see how he does. Hey, husband. I love your glasses. And your little tie. Your little suit. Wish. 1075. Why is he so handsome? Get you off my mind, my own mind. That's all this talk about in my room. I would love to talk about it in your room. We've talked about this stuff. Stop it. Listen to what I'm about to say. You will find the answer. This energy, this way that me might be too much to take. Sing, baby. What you mean you don't know nothing about SB19? Venus, fix it. Fix it. Woo! Can you read the room? I would love to read the room. I mean, I can. The room outside, they look bored as hell. I, I don't know what's going on in South Korea at the Wish Bus, but I need them to do better. Such beautiful teeth, too. Come on, head boys. I love these glasses on him. So handsome, I swear to God. Oh, it's unfair. Ah. 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 Hey. Come on. South Korea, I need you to do better out there. Why are y'all dead outside this bus? See, this could not be me out there. Uh-uh. I would be joking, jiving, and living my best life out there. Like, why did you even come to watch this performance? Baby, don't you worry. As long as you're here with me. You won't take no hurt, cause I will be your sanctuary. If you would only let me orchestrate this story. We won't have to lift this rope. It's under everything. Sustain it, baby. On which? Can you, can you read the room? 1075. Uh, uh, read the room. Can you, can you? Oh. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but if this room is no one living. Ah, uh, my God. Like, how? How, how do you, how can you be within such a close proximity of that man? Granted, yes, you are separated by 
a, an entire bus. I'm sure there's like security and whatnot, but, but, but like still, you are within like 10 feet of that man. And he is putting on the show of a lifetime in this bus. He, he has no lights, no pyrotechnics, no special effects, no fog, nothing. It is just him sitting down with his microphone in his little suit jacket and tie, and he is out here giving you the performance of a lifetime on this bus, and y'all look like you're about to get a tooth removed. You look like you're about to go in for a root canal or something. Like, they are so dead. My God. Maybe that is the difference between Wish Bus South Korea and Wish Bus USA and Wish Bus just <laughs> normal, regular Wish Bus. Because, like, w the regular Wish Bus and Wish Bus USA, like, those crowds are hype. Like, they, they, they look like they have camped out for three days waiting for the opportunity to get a front row seat to this so maybe that they'll end up on the recording or something like they are so hyped to be they there they are so ready and these people look like someone was out here i don't know telling them how to file their taxes like they look so bored they look so over and i'm like how how is that even possible how how can you have that man on a screen near you and just be so unentertained so I, I don't understand it could not be me i do not I, I don't understand it is not it is not um it is it, it, it's just it's not something i subscribe to i'm, I'm sorry it, it is not me um because again like even if the style of music is not your style or even if you know you know you're not big on this sort of like funk dance blah blah blah, blah like the fact that just like Shut your eyes and listen. He is giving you vocals for days. He is doing so many impressive vocal things and like nothing. They are giving nothing. Do you know how hard, difficult it is as a performer to be on stage and giving everything and receive absolutely nothing from the audience? Granted, thankfully his back was to the audience and he was like performing to camera. So like he didn't have to like try and feed off of their energy. So he doesn't, he didn't realize, but like as a performer, I've been in audiences where, or I've been on stage where there are audiences who, not necessarily that they're not enjoying the performance, but there are sometimes you have audiences that are like just internally enjoying, where it's like maybe they found something funny, but it just tickled them on the inside, or they enjoyed it and they're just, you know, enjoying it on the inside, where it's like on stage, I'm like, I need you to outwardly enjoy this. I need you to make a little bit more noise. I need you to be a little bit more obvious as to what you're doing, because to me, it seems like you hate what you're watching right now, and it makes me, as a performer, feel uncomfortable on this stage. So I'm like, it is so difficult. And like, that was, it was giving me vibes of, I don't know if you've ever seen that old, old performance of Kylie Minogue. Um, she was like performing for, I don't even know, like some sort of conservative something or another. And she just came out, with, hold on, let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> Like, she was just out here giving it her life. And, like, the audience just seemed so, like, she just, she, like, she was a fish out of water. Like, like she was, like, the Antichrist performing into a room full of, like, hardcore conservatives. And it's like, but she's still out there, slayed the house down and gave it everything. But it is so difficult to just perform to an audience that has given you nothing. So I'm glad that he had his back to the audience because he was focusing on the camera because like that would just like suck. But like enough about that terrible audience. Cell was incredible. Vocals were everything and just general embodiment, the performance was everything. He is so damn talented, so damn handsome. like. He, he, one of my favorite husbands that I have. You guys know this. And actually, today when I was getting, you know, the 700 tattoos that I got today, I debated for a minute about um, getting, like, the SB19 logo tattooed somewhere. And then I was like, mm, I'll hold off on it for now. Because, um, like, I remember, you know, like, last year they were having that whole debacle where, like, the company was 
like threatening to take the name <laughs> like yep okay well we're keeping the sb19 and they were almost going to have to change their band name um to something else i was like hmm, well what if that happens again and now i got sb19 just tattooed on me like yes i'm still a fan of this band but like what if i got them tattooed on me and they got to go change your name because some legal reasons so i was like hmm, let me hold off a minute um but yes I, I, I love them i love them i love him he is amazing he's magically delicious and we love him <sighs> what did i miss in the chat I hate that there's a fan wars happening in the Philippines right now. Why can't they just stand who they stand and leave others alone? Oh, what fan wars are happening? Yeah, it's just let people enjoy who they enjoy. Found out about SB19 from San doing the Gento challenge. Mm, I do love me some San. Um, yes, that's one thing I loved about that whole Gento period. I felt like that really got their name and faces out there a little bit more internationally, um, which I'm just always so happy for them because they, they deserve the world. I just want to stick Topher in a room with all these men that he'd be crushing on and see what would happen. Um, things would happen. Would they be holy things of God? I cannot guarantee, but things would happen. I would get to know many, if not all of them, biblically, so I guess they would be of God. Um, yeah. Not a single head in the was bopping. It's a crime. I'm saying, uh, I'm kind of making fun of Filipinos because they call us jungle Asians and not to their beauty standards. Oh God, don't even get me started on those. I mean, like, different cultures and you know different standards of beauty. I, it's not my place to speak on you know this that the other. But I'm just like y'all. All, all these cultures are beautiful. All these men are beautiful. Like. I don't care what country you come from. If you are a beautiful man, you are a beautiful man. Or if you're a beautiful woman, you're a beautiful woman. Like, I, it, it doesn't matter if you are fair-skinned, dark -skinned, I don't care. If you are beautiful, you are beautiful. Like, I just need people to get over this sort of old-school way of thinking. But it's a cultural thing. It's not my place to speak on it. Um, they don't know how to enjoy things. He'll be very appreciative in the U.S. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure. Like, if we were to watch the U.S. wish bus of this, I'm sure that it would be night and day. Night and day. Uh, I saw more facial expressions from the people being subjected to JYP singing Sweet Dreams. Oh, that sound. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. We don't, we're not going to talk about that. Um, Benny stands in SB19 stand more. Uh, I just, I just wish that people would just chill out. <sighs> 